Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Excuse me for earlier. <clears throat> and basically, this is what the so-called elites want. They want a nuclear war. That is why they is orchestrating this, this conflict between you, the United States and Russia. Because ultimately, the goal of the so-called elites is to wipe out the majority of the world's population. They want to wipe out the majority of the world's population and put a chip in everybody else. And, and this, this, this is this is what they're scheming here. <clears throat> you know, it's all about power and control with these people. Okay. And during this nuclear destruction, guess what? The so-called elites are going to be at. Dumbs, which is an acronym. D-U-M-B-S which is an acronym for Deep Underground Military Bases okay and these underground shelters specialize in protecting people from a nuclear warfare but not only are they going to be in, in, in these deep underground bases, they're also going to be in outer space bunkers. Okay, there's a reason why they have outer space bunkers. There's a reason why they have deep military. Uh, there's a reason why they have deep underground military bases, because they intend for a nuclear holocaust, which is biblical, by the way. It's written in the Holy Bible. Okay. And a matter of fact, let's start with the book of 2nd Esdras. Okay, 2nd Esdras, chapter 15, verse 5. <clears throat> okay, it says, Behold, save the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. What's, what's one of the plagues that the Lord is going to bring upon the world? The sword. The modern day sword is the gun. But the sword is also talking about these, these nuclear weapons of warfare. So the Lord said that he would bring nuclear warfare to the planet. Okay. Let's go to the book of 2nd Esdras. 2nd Esdras chapter 16 and I'll just start at 1. And then I'll hit this arrow key right here. And then central F and type in arrow. Okay. Oh, my bad. I misspelled that. Type in arrow. Okay. This is the book of Second Estrus. For allowing me to find his verse. Second Esdras chapter 16 verse 13. It says for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Now. Who can physically shoot an arrow from one part of a planet to another? So we know this is not talking about an actual bow and arrow. This is talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles. And there's a reason why it's called intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's called intercontinental 
because these missiles are capable of carrying hundreds of nuclear warheads at a time while traveling from one continent to another. So that's why it's called intercontinental ballistic missiles. And these are the arrows that can be shot from one part of the world to another. Okay, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 51. Mm, you know what? Let's start at 1. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. Modern day Babylon is talking about who? America. America is modern day Babylon. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. That destroying wind is going to come from the explosions of nuclear bombs. Okay? And I will send unto Babylon, which is the United States of America, fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in a day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Round about. Right after the nuclear holocaust, this country is going to be a desert. Let's prove that. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. Because the Lord is raising up Russia for the sole purpose of going to war against the United States of America. Isaiah 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. The modern day Medes is who? The Russians. They are your modern day Medes. The them is talking about who? Who were the Medes known for taking down? The Babylonians. And, and who is modern day Babylon? America. America is modern day Babylon. So behold, I will stir up the Russians against the United States of America, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Right. Why would these Russians care about money? Did not the United States, along with Europe, remove Russia from BRICS, which is uh, one of the uh, the uh, global banking systems of the world? So you, you think Russia is going to care about money? Okay, behold, they have control of the gas. They have they have they have control of gas, oil. So these Russians, they're they're, they're not they're not worried about uh money <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 13 verse 19 and Babylon which is the United States of America the glory of kingdoms right no other kingdom on this planet started building skyscrapers with their people wearing suits until they saw the United States doing it the United States ultimately has the influence of the whole world through their democracy so America is the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency. The ancient Chaldeans were known for what? Being a bunch of witches, warlocks, sorcerers, performing rituals. Okay, who, who does that today? The modern day Illuminati. Okay, members of the Illuminati. Okay, where, where, where was the ancient Chaldees' Where was the ancient child these main her headquarters for, for performing their, their sorcery and rituals and witchcraft? Babylon, okay? America is the main headquarters of the Illuminati when it comes to performing witchcraft and, and, and sorcery and rituals and sending up demonic enchantments. Okay? And the United States of America, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, the Illuminati's excellency, shall be as when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. How was ancient Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed? Ancient Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone. Okay, guess what? The modern day fire and brimstone is going to come in the form of... Of, of, of these intercontinental ballistic missiles which can carry up to hundreds of nuclear warheads okay 
It says, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. It says, it, it says, um, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Okay, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 21, it says, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Why is that? Because after the post-nuclear destruction of the United States of America, when as soon as the fire goes out, this whole place is going to be a desert. It's going to be one big desert. Okay? It's going to be one big desert. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, austere creatures. Okay? And owls shall dwell there, and satires shall dance there. Okay? Yeah, these are desert-like creatures, which are going to be living over here on the soils of America after the post-nuclear destruction of this place. Okay, verse 22, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 22. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons, which pretty much that's what a lizard is. A lizard is just a, a, a small version of a dragon. And dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time, the United States of America's time, is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So, Lord's will, I was able to edify you, brothers, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.